I actually fear that I might have bit off a bit more than I can chew this time. I mean, doing episode reviews is one thing, that is taking one episode and condensing it down into a 10 minute video, and then adding random clips of me doing stupid things. An entire episode based around one single pony, though, might be tricky, let alone a pony that isn't a major character. But then again, fans of Misery Meyer probably know I've done harder tasks. Hell, I've done harder tasks in my sleep. Like that time I took that midnight hike. Yeah, sleepwalking and summer camp don't mix well. But enough of my miserable childhood, let's move on to the episode. Heartstrings is a seafoam green unicorn with a harp as her cutie mark that generally appears in the background in Ponyville. <laughs> Wait a minute, why didn't I just do this? This one! It's this one! Now the main reason I'm doing this is because last time this happened! But I think Rarity learned even more than me. Wait a minute! Is that Lyra in the background? she get up there? Well, you know what? Next time, we are just gonna have to look into a unicorn that can apparently get into Cloudsdale. But this isn't the only reason that Lyra Heartstrings deserves her own episode. And it's not the more obvious reason that her name contains the word heart. Because if I was going to attack the show for using hearts, I wouldn't have time to do anything else. And frankly, I have some challenge runs I want to get to. And besides, as a tri-chambered heart owner, I actually don't have heartstrings. I don't know if that's just me, like, maybe it's a part of the left ventricle, I don't know. But I don't have heartstrings, and I tend not to be bothered by her name. The main reason I am giving her her own episode is that she tends to be duplicated in the backgrounds a lot. Now, a lot of this is the fact that she is very recognizable, and a bit of it is the fact that you have maybe 44 background ponies. And they try to fill a crowd, it gets a bit tricky not to duplicate them. But looking at a lot of these, it seems that she is cloned more often than any pony else. Oh, and of course the main reason she got the first review instead of going to another background pony like Time Turner or Dinky Doo or Noi is because she somehow appeared in the Sky City of Cloudsdale. And if you don't know why that's problematic, um, go watch the previous episode, I'm tired of explaining it. Now before you comment, I know there are variations on Lyra. One includes one with purple eyes instead of her gold ones, for instance, and another is a Pegasus that does appear in Sonic Rainboom. Problem is, that clearly isn't the one in the final scene, as you can make out the horn. Maybe she and Twilight are better friends than you think, and she gave her the spell to walk on clouds, I don't know. And now for that part about the clones? Now actually, over the past season and a half, they've been giving us many explanations to this with the most recent explanation being the mirror pool, which I don't have the episode of yet. But I would prefer to dismiss that explanation, since it did only seem like Pinkie Pie knew about that. And I'll get to that episode as soon as Season 3 is done, at some point. There is also the simplest, blandest explanation, magic. She is a unicorn and we never see what her special talent is, but my guess it'll have something to do with Leers, so we might as well be able to skip this one. Another explanation would be the Changelings. The race of other beings that can transform into other ponies and live by feeding off a of love. Somehow. I tried feeding off a of love once! It's an excellent diet that really works. And she was kind of brainwashed by the Queen! However, in the My Little Pony universe, effect actually follows cause, and not the other way around. I mean, I guess they could have gone a bit sneakier route, and had all different characters wear different things, like 
strange ties and capes. Big science glasses. But I guess they figured that when they hit the blonde wig and scars motif, they might run out. And honestly, how many people would put up with a cheap gimmick like that? Alright, despite being a background pony, she actually has some of the better background appearances. Like this clip where the Paris Sprites eat her pie. Oh, now I know I have a heart because it is breaking. Just look at that face. Oh, here's Derby to try to cheer her up. Pinkie Pie mentions my birthday to the cakes, and I get a cupcake. During the Halloween episode, she was dressed up like a mummy. Here's a screenshot from the pilot. There are six Liras in this picture. Six! Maybe I was wrong, and clothing is her special talent. She also attended the sisterhood social with her, um, uh, huh. I'll call her a twin sister this time. She was also one of the three original bridesmaids in the wedding episode. And here she even gets a line! I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Of course, this doesn't end well for her and the other two. I want it! I'm kidding, they're fine. And, um, well, let's just take a quick look at the crowd shots Lyra and her many, many clones have appeared in. Like fashion shows. School talent shows. Oh, come on! Two of them are only one pony apart in that shot. And there's still like three more here! Also, probably the weirdest thing about the entire background ponies thing, they don't appear to age. Since here's a crowd that Twilight is fighting through as a little filly, and there's Lyra. Also derpy. Now I want to see a fan-made game with Lyra as the hero trying to save Hyrule. It will be a Lyra to the past. We'll get working on that. Um, don't expect to see much results. Well, I will keep track of Lyra and her many clones all over Ponyville and Cloudsdale, and I hope you all keep track of me here at Pony Palace.